are men and women equally able to build strength and muscle tissue with resistance training? Yeah, that's a great question. So I was involved in a meta-analysis a few years ago um, with some Sydney colleagues. Jones was the first author. So what they what we demonstrated in this meta-analysis was it sort of depends on how we express um, strength and muscle mass sort of outcomes. In essence, what the meta-analysis found was that when we express some of these measures in relative terms, that the females actually might get a bigger change. And that might reflect the fact that they often started at lower absolute levels. So what we found was females gained more relative lower body strength than men. So when when it was expressed per kilogram of body weight, the females had a bigger change in lower body strength or relative muscle size. So again, expressing a change in their muscle mass relative to their baseline levels. Men gain more absolute upper body and lower body strength and also muscle mass size. So if we're talking kilograms in strength or muscle mass, men will get a bigger response um, for the older men. But the relative change in upper body strength or muscle mass size, uh, sorry, lower body strength, um, Lower body strength relative was bigger for females than men. There was no difference in sex between relative upper body or relative muscle size. So if we're expressing those things relative to your initial starting point, men and women have that same percentage change. Um, So the bigger change for men often just depicts the fact that they might be 20 or 30 kilos heavier and stronger with more muscle mass to start with. And what about the actual design of the training program for men and women i've heard some people i think mostly in fitness circles kind of suggest that maybe women can handle more volume they can recover quicker is there any is there any truth to that and should men and women be following the same sort of set of principles in essence the sexes are often pretty similar but there are some little differences so And there is some evidence to suggest that females may recover better and some of their hormones may also reflect that as well. But again, it's a little bit outside of my expertise. So what was found um, from some, I think it was a meta-regression that we did after the meta-analyses, that um, females might take longer to increase their absolute upper body strength compared to men. And we see that in, in younger populations too. Like when I competed in powerlifting, the females could get a real rapid increase in their squat and deadlift strength, but bench press took a lot longer to actually um, accumulate increases in strength. So that might just reflect the structural differences between men and women there. Also, the uh, meta-analysis suggested that an increased number of reps per week was better to increase their relative and absolute lower body strength. So as you said, it might be that women recover better, so they just need a little bit more volume in terms of lower body um, strength as well. Alternatively, males, there was some benefit from them increasing the intensity if they wanted to increase their strength. And also longer training durations were more effective for muscle mass development, which again makes sense that muscle mass does take longer to develop than strength per se. So those longer durations um, of programs were were definitely important there as well. So some sex differences, but again, at the end of the day, the biggest bang for your buck, regardless being male and female, get into the gym twice a week, maybe three times, and progressively overload those muscles on a sort of a weekly, monthly basis. (music) 